The surprising history of the humble hamburger, the story of the hamburger is a fascinating journey that spans continents and centuries, ultimately culminating in the beloved sandwich we consume by the billions today. As McDonald's proudly proclaims with their billions served signs, Ray Kroc knew in 1955 that Americans were head over heels for hamburgers. Today, that love affair has only grown stronger. According to the USDA, Americans consume nearly 50 billion hamburgers each year, averaging 2.4 hamburgers per day per person. This versatile staple is a star of backyard barbecues, a highlight at comfort food diners, and an icon of American cuisine. Hamburgers can be made in countless ways, with ground beef, bison, pork, turkey, chicken, beans, lentils, and increasingly, plant based alternatives. The variety of toppings is endless too, ranging from the classic lettuce, tomato, onion, and cheese, to more adventurous options like peanut butter, wasabi, and fried eggs. Before diving into the invention of the hamburger, it's worth exploring why it's called a hamburger in the first place. Understanding its name helps trace the origins of this culinary phenomenon. Why is it called a hamburger? Contrary to what the name suggests, hamburgers contain no ham. The name hamburger gives a clue to its origins. There's a common belief that the hamburger originated in Hamburg, Germany, and while this isn't entirely true, it isn't entirely false either. Hamburg played a crucial role in the hamburger's history, George Motz, the author of Hamburger America and director of a documentary by the same name, explains that what was created in Hamburg was not the hamburger as we know it today, but something called frikadellen, or chopped beef. This dish became known as steak in the style of Hamburg, or hamburger steak, when it made its way to the United States. A Hamburg steak is essentially a beef patty served with gravy, onions, and potatoes, considered a delicacy due to the value of meat at the time. Noticeably absent is the bread, which came much later, where did the first hamburger come from? The concept of minced meat served on bread is much older than many realize. The earliest record we have is from a first-century cookbook by Celius Apicius, which mentions a recipe of minced game mixed with nuts and other ingredients, patted, cooked, and served on bread, says Motz. Additionally, the history of the hamburger can be traced to Russian steak tartar, popularized by the tartars of the northern steppes of Asia. This raw mutton dish eventually made its way to Hamburg, where it evolved into a beef dish that was cooked, while the hamburger's roots can be traced back to Europe and Asia, its modern incarnation was invented in America. The genesis of the hamburger, as we know it, took place at state fairs across the Midwest between 1870 and 1890. These fairs surged in popularity alongside the influx of German immigrants who bought farmland in the area. The hamburger's invention seems to have occurred simultaneously in multiple places in the Midwest, where vendors at these fairs independently came up with the idea of serving hamburg steak on bread. Some accounts point to Lewis's lunch in New Haven, Connecticut, as the birthplace of the hamburger sandwich. Founded by Lewis Lassen, Lewis's lunch was known for its steak sandwiches. In New Haven, we believe the original hamburger sandwich was invented at Lewis's lunch in 1900, says Colin M. Kaplan, author historian, professor, and tour operator. Though Louis Lassen may not have been the first to invent the hamburger, Louis's lunch is considered the oldest hamburger stand in the country. To this day, the burgers at Louis's lunch are made in the same way as the first, served without condiments like ketchup, which is still frowned upon, which came first, the cheeseburger or the hamburger, unsurprisingly, the hamburger came first. It didn't take long, however, for someone to add a slice of cheese. The cheeseburger's origin is attributed to Bob Wyan of the Right Spot, a precursor to Bob's Big Boy in Southern California. According to Motts, Wyan used a slice of cheese to cover up a burned burger patty sometime in the early 1920s. Thus inventing the cheeseburger, 